they are infotech or what we do what technicality in technology we talk about techs give you formations about updates that's actually happening we prepare you for training like is it staff training on how your your uh, based on your request whether in what in engineering in technology i mean whether in systems management whether in identification of threats identification of vulnerability how you can actually handle it when what attack arises the first thing you need to do what you need to implement then other things are how you can actually use computer to for a work for a long life services is there as a man executive what executive executive training whereby you train the words you train the executive directors on what on the latest what on the latest technology how they can actually use the update recent updates how they can actually what enhance their what their network to actually what to actually make it good for for their day-to-day -day activities as well as also the word how they can actually what protect your data small data big data the one which the word any of it should be hacked so you actually actually want to know how this word how this account actually thinks how they actually want to do this is actually what to do you also do consulting services when you have an error that you are unable to solve send it to us and let us check into what is actually happening then we'll be able to actually what solve that situation and we also what we also deal with it examinations whether your word your student i mean sorry i mean your staffs or your work or your son your daughter actually want to write an international exam you want me to treat them and prepare them for what for, for examinations and pass it we are also into it we almost what deal with the quality in technology implementation theoretical practical examination to the world to the word examination profile interview questions the kind of questions that interviewers can actually ask we also was we also treat it with such person that is actually ready to actually go for war interview. So we prepare people for interview too for profile questions that might be actually hacks. Now this is the word this is the cyber security aspect, which the last standard that we actually work into now, which is cyber security interview question. The profile questions that an interviewer can actually ask you. These are what we actually want to look into. So after this, then we are actually done with the theoretical aspect. Then we move to security practical, which means we actually introduce different kind of tools that you can actually use to secure your world, your systems. Then after we finish that, we move to ethical hacking. We we'll talk about the theoretical aspect of ethical hacking. Then move to the world to the to the practical as well. So these are what we are actually doing, and we have what we have been doing it. We we'll continue to do it. So there are more other projects that are actually coming after we actually finish this. When we finish this, then we move to the next. So what are the profile questions that they can actually ask you when you are into what when you are about to sit for an exam? What do you mean by cyber security? They actually want to know if you even know what cyber security is in the first instance. So people actually mistakes what so people actually mistakes ethnic hacking with cyber security. When people actually would get fascinated about like, cyber security, they also think it's more more attacking what aspect. But it's actually not that attacking aspect. It's actually more of security tools. What kind of tools that you can actually introduce to a company to enhance their data, to protect that data, can we put data or data. You cannot be going for cyber security. Maybe you want to be a cyber security expert or or this, uh, like you are going for a junior junior what junior cyber security person. And you are being asked for the cyber security, or you are being asked to actually do cyber security work. You don't expect to be doing the world and attacking what attacking tools. No, don't introduce attack tools. You will actually introduce the security tools, security tools that you can actually introduce to put it that file like this one I actually mentioned earlier, on, which is the cryptography, encryption, encryption of that file. I can actually what I can actually install a what a security what system on their system uh, on their uh, security tools on their system. To actually what stop any attack from actually going in. like one i actually have aura aura is one of the two that you can actually set up on the world on the company systems that actually notify you if there's anything that is, anything any threat that is actually coming or anyone is actually launching an attack to a particular system aura will actually would actually notify you is it was a shell command or tools 
that when you actually install it, just like a, a word, it jits up resources. You are, but it's not actually a jits up resources. It's a word. It's a Windows word. It's a Windows tool that you actually installed into your into your system, and what you get the file into that word into that system. So that's what that one is. There's a word, there's one and another one again. Intelligence. So when you actually get the particle, we are almost at the particle now, particle stage. That I'm about to actually introduce to you. So I'll be introducing all those two so by one. I can might not be able to introduce all, like all, but when maybe when you actually now want to actually know all, I can introduce all the tools. It's the fact. But when you maybe want to actually know all the tools, like you actually want to know full courses, because this is just a slideshow of part of the world of the I was able to actually take you all the bit about theoretical aspects. I was able to take up everything about theoretical aspect, but the particle what is won't be actually a full particle classes. I will only introduce a few of the word of those tools and what and implement it for you to see how it's been done. Once I implement it and see how it's been done, then if you actually want to know everything about the tools, every tools embedded, how to actually install it, how to actually identify it, then you can now work come from one on one classes. This area, but one on one classes are not free. They actually done on Zoom, yeah, on Zoom. So once you actually go and go for our one-on-one -on -one classes, you'll be able to actually review everything that there is to be about cyber security, which is the what the particular aspect. Which means if you actually are coming from YouTube, then really you will have actually what look from from the E. I started uploading the cyber security tools to this moment. You have actually been watching and watching and watching to this extent. Definitely, I'll just swings to what more of revealing more of the tools. That you can actually use or implement on what on that or on that aspect. So there are other so many tools that you can actually use. Even Kali, even Kali can actually what one or two. So if you're actually having the if your system, I mean your company is having the what the Kali liners or is using the Kali liners. There are so many tools that you can actually use to actually check for vulnerability. That's part of security when you're checking for vulnerability, identify vulnerabilities on your wall, your company systems. You can use Vega. You can use my SQL. Can use or uh, other tools like what like Metasploit to actually check for vulnerabilities in your world in your computer systems to check for websites vulnerabilities you can use um the Vega yes for website vulnerabilities and if you now want to check a network vulnerabilities then that's why you started using mmap mmap we can even try and launch a work or scripting attack to check where the loopholes is actually coming from if your website is actually working able to work to uh, attack but i will not actually show you all those things i will only show you these tools so many tools that you can actually work and can actually implement on your word or your system or your network to actually protect you another one you can actually do for your network is what is to what introduce mmap mmap is another one to actually check vulnerability in your words in your network to see the word open port to see how our traffic is actually entering or if they actually will be able to see traffic that's entering your file so when i ask they actually want to know even if you have the knowledge about cyber security we used to say cyber security is a combination of a process parties technology designed to protect network computer programs data and information for attack that means of unauthorized access which means what well, cyber security is the best design the best definition to actually define the world your cyber security is the parties to actually what to actually protect networks computer websites data information and protect it from what for attack implement the word implement the tools and stop what stop any unauthorized access from getting into your word to your system by what by putting a total word making sure that the CIA of what CIA of a particular network systems is actually what is actually intact which means the CIA must not be compromised and to actually make that to happen you actually have to what employ some tools which are the words to protect all this word all these files so can you see there's nothing like attacking them the only attack is that the word they cheat data and information from attack which means we are implementing the tools to actually what saves what a file or a data from attack damage which means or unauthorized access like putting some word your permission controls into check is the work of service security to, to also put your permission into check to make sure that the file is not getting to the wrong and that's also a work of what server security now what do you have what do you have on your home network now what do you have on your home network your home network gives you a test environment of experimentation active directory domain controller dedicated firewall appliances and, and a word 
and a net attached toaster. So what you're actually using? Either you're using a Windows 16, Windows Server 2016, or any other tools. Most of these tools are actually implemented on. They are, they are almost most of these tools. They are actually a what? A Windows tools. They are actually a Windows tools. Most of these tools. But when is, when you're actually using a Kali. There are other ways that you can actually use Kali for it. That means you are connecting a Kali to your what your Windows Server to actually implement this. Thing. So most of these tools, server security tools, are what um, most of the tools are what are Windows tools. So a home network gives you a test environment for experimentation. So and therefore to actually have a home network where you can actually what practice all these things that you are actually learning. So set up a what a Windows Server so that you can be well, have access to Active Directory Domain Controller. If you check my what my channel and you look at some of the videos, you know that I've actually what did some courses on Windows Servers on the what or not quite now. If you actually want to actually have a one or more classes on that, I can actually take to it. So a, a domain controller, a dedicated firewall appliances and a network attached to star. So which means you can also well, buy a a network I mean firewall devices and attach it to the network. And a net attached toaster, so you understand. As long as you are learning and finding with it, so there are also ways to can actually do it. Making sure that what the main goal of your server security expert is to make sure that everything that will protect your what your system or your network or your website is actually intact. Like a firewall, you also also need to monitor that to make sure that it's not off automatically or they don't actually off it in a world. Make sure that your location is actually hidden. The word the source file to your words to control your system is also off. All these things actually need to be put into place when you're actually what actually a cyber security person. So what is encryption? Why is it important? So when they ask you this kind of question, a process of converting data into unreadable test, that's the best way to actually what says what an encryption is. So to prevent unauthorized access to what to access it. So and to ensuring the data is actually protected. So to not make people that are not supposed to see the file see it as a process of so they actually encrypt it. The process is called encryption. I'm actually show you how to actually encrypt the file. I also show you how to bit lock. I show you how to encrypt decrypt back encrypt. So you understand. So I'll show you the two ways. Now tell me the difference between symmetric and asymmetric. Now, symmetric. The difference between symmetric and asymmetric is the word the basic of comparison and the word. Encrypt, encryption keys single key for both encryption and decryption but what asymmetric only really use different key for encryption and words and decryption which means this symmetric only use single keys which means when you're actually using asymmetric key, you have to use different keys to actually what encrypt it and also decrypt it back so that's the word that's one thing that you should actually should ring in your brain when they're asking this type of question performance encryption is fast but comparatively more vulnerable now which means which means asymmetric is more vulnerable to what to attack which means encryption is slow due to what due to high computation so now along with him it has what a des 3 des ees and lc4 defy m1 and lca so purpose used for bulk data transmission often used for securely exchanging secret kits so which means this one is also also called have a way of what working for synthography. So in what in another one, what is have a word is CIA. CIA trial is the information security provide a business standard for evaluation and implementing information security irrespective of the world of the system or organization in question. Which means what is the business is that it will use and regulation that actually will follow in order to protect the three of the world of the C, the high and the E. Confidentiality, everything must actually be available, integrity and availability. So these are the word that guidelines are actually what need to be followed in order to keep your word, your companies, I mean data intact. What do you understand by risk, vulnerability and threats in network? Risk, vulnerability and threats. This thing is actually what need to be analyzed. Threats refers to someone with the potential to do harm to a system, which means yeah, the person actually has a key. Sorry about that. As a key, as the knowledge to actually what get into your system, the threat itself might be a malware, might be in a way, other way around. So the person actually has a potential ways, potential way to do harm to your system or organization. So that's what the threat is actually is. Now, is a person is a what is an hacker? 
that has a tool that they can actually use to exploit your system so vulnerability refers to a weakness of an asset it means the weakness in your system that can be exploited by one who has that tool to actually what exploit you they are also known as attackers threat actors in other words it is issue or bug that allow an attack to be what to be successful which means if you have a bug in your system you have a bug in your software an attacker your what your system is actually vulnerable for what for an attack now we refer to the potential for loss or damage when a threat exploit is vulnerable now when there's what there's a security shake there's one thing vega does when you actually use a vega to actually scan your website once you use a figure to actually scan your site, is to show you the type of what the type of search you are open to. So that we it might be a cost size scripting or any other way. So it will tell you that there's one risk that is actually found. So that risk can actually what put down the whole of your word of your website. That's what or help an attacker to actually what gain access to what to know what they actually need to do in order to get access to your word to your computer. Now how do you report to risk? Risk needs to be assessed first before it can be reported there are two ways you can actually analyze with it can be either quantitative or qualitative the such two approach is suitable for both techniques and business guys the business guy will see the word probable loss in numbers while the technical guys will monitor and assess the impact and frequency depending on the others the risk can be what can be reported now how do you differentiate between ips and ids now ips and ids system Intuition detection system, intuition prevention system. IDS just detects the intuition and leaves the rest to the administrator for assessment and evaluation or any further actions. IPS detects the intuition and takes necessary word actions for what for further prevention. I've actually explained all those things to you guys. I'm just trying to like add to the answers and actually treat it. So intuition detection is actually detect. Then what well, prevention actually prevents it for actually what making you further work, making your further arm. Um, to that word to the system by blocking it or blocking the assets also there is a difference in the positioning of device in the network although they work on the world on the same concept so how do you differentiate between all this is when you actually go to it one by one assimilate it with it one by one to actually know how you can actually attack the question so what do you know about cyber security framework what do you know about cyber security framework the framework is voluntary guidance based on existing guidelines and practice for organization to better manage and reduce cyber security risk most frequent adopted cyber security framework are PCI DDS, Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, ISO, International Organization for Standard, CISA, Critical Security Control. So these are the bodies that are actually world dominating or organizations that are actually world controlling the world the cyber security framework. So what is the weak information system? Information security policy is considered to be weak if it does not meet the criteria of an effective one, which means the word the information is weak if it does not meet the policy of the world of that network or of that company. Distribution review comprehensive compliance and uniform. So if the compliance is actually not in standard, the world information is actually weak. Information security is weak if the policy has not been made readily available for review. That's why there's a we need for what consistently what consistently update or refine we need to be up to date to make sure that everything that you are saying is actually in line to the recent ones. The organization is unable to demonstrate that employees can review the policy document. The organization is unable to demonstrate that employees understand the content of the policy document. So everything has to be what has to be in check. So end of the slide. So there is more of the questions. If you actually need it, you can actually what you can actually get back to me. I have actually do my part. I hope you do yours.